Hi guys, this morning when I got here, it was so exciting to see the bus outside in the sunshine. She's getting all warmed up and stuff and we're still focusing on trying to get it all um, closed in on the outside, get her watertight. And, um, but Randy was working on this. I'll show you. Okay, well, that, that thing's called the curb guard, I guess. But this this thing right here. Yeah, this thing here is what. So when it's up on there, if you come up and hit something, then you know you ain't gonna clear. Oh yeah. So somebody hit it and pushed it back. Well, they bent it. And they broke this bolt, and when I took this one loose, you wouldn't, you couldn't go back. So Chris just straightened it for us. So it busted that bolt out? Yep. Yeah, that one they snapped it off and the other one was bent. So, awesome. I'll go stick it back up under there. And now you can look right here and see our hole lines up. See? Oh yeah, I can see daylight down there. All right, so all, all we got to right. do is put two more bolts back in there. And we are golden. We're golden. Thank you, Chris. That's oh, awesome. yes. Awesome, Chris. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see. They're right here. 10 inches. Okay, you got that? We got 10 inches at the back of the button. It slopes down a little bit, too. So I'm going to go see what the other clearance is. Uh, Toe bars. 12 and 3 quarters. Uh -huh. So I'll go check that axle. This is 10 and 3 quarters. Moose, so that's why this thing up here is only 10. Is that what that was? Yeah, it was 10. Oh, there you go. If you hit that, you're gonna, it's gonna hit, you're gonna drag bottom. Drag your axle. Let's go see what the rear end is. Okay. Oh, that would make you seasick. That's a different perspective on life there. Yeah, the rear end is 10 and a half inches to the center of the pumpkin. Ooh. So we've got a, basically a 10 inch clearance. Yeah. And I'll bet you the transmission is the same thing. Is that what that is up there? No, the transmission. Oh, that's the gas tank up there. Yeah, that's the gas tank. He looks like he might be a little bit higher. Yeah. Uh -huh. and that's where that water tank would fit so easily. That's what I've been trying to tell you up in that. Yeah, or even here. the sewage tank. Right from this. Up between those two things. Yep. I guess I should have said the black water and the gray water tank. They're gonna go this way. Oh yeah. So they hang down here. Oh, okay. But there's plenty of depth that they can hang here and you can still have under storage underneath. So what Chris and Joe have been saying is make this under storage. Oh yeah, seven foot five, but and we know oh, we that thing would, that, oh, actually those storage bays, if you didn't want to, oh, but you want to have uh, clearance when you go over a bump, uh -huh. so this is the higher. Center. Yeah, but still by making them flush to here, how high was this to the ground? Is that like 12 inches? It's uh, 14 and a half. Oh, that's lots of clearance. Yeah, so you'd have four more, four more in the middle than you do on do the ends. On the ends. Yeah. And then, if that water tank is, that water tank will fit in here easily. Okay. Oh, let me see your camera. It's going. Look. 
you can see everywhere we... Oh, that we rubbed, riveted the floor? Yeah, all the Sika Flex caulking is little white marshmallows coming through. <laughs> and there's our pop rivets. <coughs> wow, that's cool. Say cheese. All of that's going to come out. But yeah, we got plenty of room. We can have a big garage. I mean, we're going to have lots of storage under here. Yeah. Even with you could sleep under here. Well, no, this would be your dog house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that water tank will fit right up in here. And fortunately, all and the how deep did you think it was? I think it's only eight inches, and that's nine inches. Well, yeah, that'd be really nice to just go from the fuel tank to that crossbreaker. Yes. Yeah. So we've already got that. We can check that. But the distance here is. We got lots of room. So those gray and black tanks are only like six inches. We can put them this way, have room to drop the plumbing in, and still have the underbase go clear underneath. And they're four inches higher. That's that thing is ten. The curb guard ten. And this is this is fourteen to here. The rear end is ten. The front axle is 10, so the rear end and the front axle all match that curve. Well, the, the, they're like 10 and 3 quarters. You can't look at it that way, though. you got to yes. have a little bit more give in the middle, because if you go over a hump, yep. that's what we thought. But we, 4 inches should be enough, huh? Yeah, I would think. Or even if we just came up a little bit inside, you know, from I mean, these curves. They're, they're not hitting mess. Yeah. Well, this would all be in thing, but they don't you take school buses off-road either. Huh? But I mean, you could see well, where the stress... Went over a bump right let's there, see right where these stress are. Yeah. Tie into that. That's where the bottom of the bus is. All right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I, I would go off of that measurement. Yeah. And I'm guessing that's a little higher than what the rear end is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You're saying the rear end is 10 inches? Yeah. 10 and 3 quarters. Like no. It was 10, 10 and 3 quarters. quarters. Yeah. Anyways, that's sweet. Oh, guys, and check out all the light that is inside of our bus when she's outside. The skylights are working awesome. This is so incredible. She's a little messy right now, but she's got a lot of stuff in her. There's our door. Oh, it's so cool. I can hardly wait for it to get on. But I'm walking towards the back so you can see. Ooh, got blinded by the skylight. So you can see the skylights. Look at that. Blue skies! Ah, oh, it's gonna be awesome being inside this space. So we just wanna thank you guys for following us along on this epic journey that we're on. And we're just so grateful to everyone that's subscribing to the channel and watching our YouTube and sharing our journey with us. Just know that we love you all and are so grateful to you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.